Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pitch. Welcome back to my channel. Right folks, so for this video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the 4K picture for my latest pickup that I got for Village of the Damned. Now this is a Sacred Bones release in conjunction with Scream Factory and I cannot believe that I'm actually holding this in my hands. I thought uh, Sacred Bones were done when it comes to releases like this. I think the last one we seen from them was a couple of years ago. It might have been Escape from New York. So when this got announced, I was genuine excited. I couldn't believe it. And not only that, but every single release that Sacred Bones have brought out, uh, it's something to do with John Carpenter. If John Carpenter didn't direct it, chances are he's produced it or wrote it. Uh, I think they've done nine releases so far. Uh, two of which John Carpenter didn't direct, which is Halloween 2 or 3. But like I said, he's still heavily involved with the, both of those movies. And what would I give to see more releases like this in the future? Uh, fingers crossed that does happen. So it goes without saying, folks, I will be taking you around this release. I'm going to be showing you everything that's inside it. It's a simple release. You got the box, the 7-inch vinyl, a uh, very unique colored vinyl as well. And of course, the movie on 4K. Very, very simple but I love it. And when you see all of these together, it's just beautiful. It really, really is. So uh, yes, that will be coming up very, very soon. Now, if you're not particularly aware of the movie Village of the Damned, it is quite simple. It's about this small town. Uh, the, the residents of this town, they all faint. Uh, when they wake up, they quickly realize that a lot of the women are pregnant and they give birth to these kind of mind-controlling alien children. It's not the best John Carpenter movie you're ever likely to see, but I've said it in so many videos. Even John Carpenter at his worst, I always found uh, a certain element of enjoyment from the movies. I know he's not particularly proud of this movie. I think he said that he was, he was contracted to do it and uh, the project lacked any kind of passion from him. But I think it's worth checking out. I really, really do. Hands down, the best viewing I ever had with this movie when we watched it on 4K the other night. Maybe it's something to do with the 4K transfer. I'm sure it is because it looks absolutely stunning. But I'll get more into that now very, very soon. Not only that, but it actually has a very solid cast as well. You got the late uh, Christopher Reeve in there. You got the likes of Kirstie Alley again, another actor that we lost as well. Mark Hamill. Might be a little bit miscast in this movie, but he's not the worst I've ever seen. And then, of course, you have the likes of Michael Pear as well. And a few regulars that you normally see with John Carpenter. If you're familiar with John Carpenter, you're going to notice a lot of the actors in this movie. And if you haven't checked out Village of the Damned, I think it's worth checking out. I really, really do. It has a very likeable cast. Big shout out to the girl in this, the, uh, the leader of the kids. I don't know, there's something about her when I look at her, she reminds me of Kirsten Dunst, a very young Kirsten Dunst, and she is absolutely fantastic in this movie. But I think the standout performance for me is hands down Christopher Reeve. Uh, his interaction with the children, particularly at the end of the movie, I think is absolutely incredible, and what a talent that man was. Now, in terms of special features, it being a Scream Factory release, there is quite a bit in there. You do get a brand new audio commentary. You get one or two featurettes as well. Some new interviews. You also get the making of Village of the Damned. And there's also an episode of Horrors Hallow Grounds with Sean Clark, where he revisits the locations of this movie. And trust me, that is worth checking out. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of Sean Clark and those location videos. Right, so I'm going to take you around this release and give you a close look at it and then I'm going to come back and talk about its 4K transfer. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, Village of the Dam. Now I just wanted to quickly say at the start here, I'm actually going to be showing another edition in this segment. It's a beautiful steelbook that I have for it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one. I think you're going to be impressed by it. Now as for this release, as you can see with the artwork, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. You simply got the face of one of the kids on the cover. Of course, it has that silver spit, uh, finish to it. Nice bit of spot glossing to it as well. And then, of course, it's on a black background. It looks exactly like the rest of them look. And uh, it's very simple, no question about it. But there's something about them that I absolutely love. My only complaint would be I would have rather seen the girl's face on the cover. Only because I thought she stood out so much more for me. So that is the main artwork. There's nothing on the top of the box and nothing on the bottom. And then I'll quickly show you the spine of it. You've got Village of the Damned, the Scream Factory logo and the Sacred Bones logo as well. And the same can be said on the opposite side. 
And then when you take it to the back, you've simply got a black finish and you've got the Sacred Bones logo down below. Again, keeping up with the other releases as well, it looks identical. So that's the back of the box. Uh, I will open it up and that's the inside of it. Nothing to see. So this is the seven inch vinyl that you get in this one. As you can see, the artwork is the exact same as the main box, only four. It's on a white background. The Village of the Dam title is in black. So that's the seven inch. Turn it around to the back. You'll notice uh, side A is March of the Children's, side B, Children's Carol. And you do get a unique color vinyl inside this as well, which I'm gonna quickly show to you. And here we go. So as you can see, it's kind of yellow with some green spots going through it. And I might be wrong with this, but maybe the color is representing the eyes of the children. If you know the movie, you know exactly uh, what I'm talking about. So yeah, yes, I do love uh, the colored vinyl on this one. Uh, the picture in the middle is the exact same. So just bear with me for one second, just so I can put this vinyl away, uh, hopefully without any issues. <laughs> there we go. And back in it goes. So that is uh, the seven inch colored vinyl. Really do like it. And this is the 4K release that we're gonna be looking at. And as you can see, uh, it is sitting in there rather snug. So I will take it out and let's have a look at it. Here we go. So as you can see, it's the artwork that we all know when it comes to Village of the Damned. You've got the faces of the three kids, those red eyes as well. Just very, very, very creepy looking. Of course, you've got the title of the movie. You'll also notice the small town at the bottom there as well. Beware the children. So that's the slipcover artwork. Uh, this is the spine of it. And I think the spine is the exact same on the opposite side. It is indeed. And right around to the back. And as you can see, you got a right up of the movie itself. You got all the special features in the middle there. Quite a few. Then of course, you got your credits and all your technical information as well. So that is the back of the J. Uh, I will take it out. The uh, show you is the Amore. And as you can see, it is the exact same. So I'm not gonna spend too much time with it. That's the spine of it. And right around to the back. And then when I open it up, you've got your Blu-ray disc on the left-hand side, and you've got your 4K disc on the right-hand side. And it's always great to see different disc art. So that is uh, the 4K Blu-ray itself. So I'll show you that seal book now in a second. I just wanna just quickly Pack this away and let you have a look at it once again. But like I said, that's the 4K sitting in quite nicely. The seven inch vinyl just sim uh, simply sits on top and that's your lid. And that covers the uh, the Sacred Bones release. So onto the steelbook we go. Now this is a German steelbook. Now the one thing I do love about it is the way that they didn't actually put the title of the movie on the steelbook. It's always nice when they do that. You got a couple of the children in the background you got Keanu Reeve there in the middle. I can't think of your one's name. She was in Crocodile Dundee. Can never think of her name. And then of course you got the barn in flames. And the steelbook itself has this lovely high gloss finish to it. It's a stunning looking steelbook. And uh, the minute I seen this artwork, I knew I needed it for my collection. Now, this is the spine of it. And as you can see, the title is in German, which is the one downside to the steelbook. And this is the back of it. And as you can see, you got two more kids. Uh, and look at those eyes. Oh my God, it is so, so creepy. And uh, I will actually open the seal book up in full and let's just have a look at it. So there you have it. It's a stunning steel book, no question about it. And then turn it in. Uh, you've got your Blu-ray disc and you've also got your bonus disc in the background. And you will also notice that there is different disc art and then of course the picture inside the steelbook, it is just of the kids itself. So there you have it folks. That is just a quick look at two beautiful releases that I actually own for Village of the Damned. Right, so on to the 4K transfer. This one is very, very easy. It's a stunning 4K transfer. It's beautiful, it's flawless. You're gonna have absolutely no issues whatsoever 
particularly when you stack it up against the previous Blu-ray, because the previous Blu-ray that we got of Village of the Damned had serious issues when it came to DNR, and I'm happy to report that this release has no such issues. They're going back to the original grain structure on this one. Yes, it's very light, but it is so consistent as well. Whether it's outdoor or indoors, it never fluctuates. And grain haters, you just have absolutely nothing to worry about here. Not only that, but Screen Factory have done a wonderful job on cleaning this image up. I couldn't see any kind of specks of film dirt or debris on this image. It looks amazingly clean. And then of course you get the implementation of Dolby Vision and I have to tell you this has been tastefully handled. It's not a night and day difference over the previous Blu-ray. Colours just look more natural now, a bit more deeper, a bit more bolder which is always great to see. And then of course you get those increased deep blacks that you come to expect with a 4K transfer like this and I have to tell you is they look absolutely astonishing. The image overall is unbelievably sharp. There's just so much detail across the board to be seen here, whether it's on clothing textures, facial details, there's just so much to see, so much detail. Interiors, exteriors of buildings, everything looks absolutely top notch. I don't remember seeing one single soft shot through this entire image. It is quite remarkable, folks, and trust me when I say, if you're a fan of this movie, I highly recommend checking out this 4K disc. I think you're going to be so impressed by its 4K transfer. Now, it also comes with a DTS 5.1 audio, and I have to tell you, is I was pleasantly surprised by it, particularly when you hear the bass throughout this entire movie, mainly to do with John Carpenter's score. Just look at the opening credit sequence. Uh, there's a, just this incredible rumble of bass going through that entire segment, and it took me by surprise. It actually rattled this room over quite a bit. But there's one scene that really stands out, me, uh, stands out for me when it comes to the DTS 5.1. It is the shootout with the police at the end of it. There's quite a lot of activity there, whether it's your rear speakers or the bass. And it should give you an indication of how good the DTS sounds on this release. And I have to tell you, is the dialogue as well sounds unbelievably clean. You're going to have absolutely no issues whatsoever. All in all, it's a great sounding DTS 5.1 audio. And just like it's picture quality, I think you're going to have few complaints with it. So there you have it folks, that is my review of Village of the Damned and as you can see by the video, I am very very happy with the results here. So there you have it folks, so as per usual if you did like what you see here please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on the movie itself. And yeah I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon, bye bye.